If you're looking to take the next step at getting better at MLB The Show 23, you have come to the right place. As some of you may know, I'm your friend Kyle. Some of you may not know, some of you may be new. I have been one of the best players in the world at this game since 2012. So I have been an OG veteran in this game, okay? And a lot of guys know me from my tournament winnings in the past. You know, I used to play very competitively. Now I'm on my YouTube grind trying to help you guys get better competitively, okay? And uh, I'm gonna show you all the things that we have new in this year's game that you guys need to work on, the best settings for you guys to use while hitting, and overall just get you guys to tip top shape so you guys can make World Series, get these dope rewards, and just, you know, kick your friends' asses, whatever it may be, I'm gonna get you guys off to the right foot. Let's start with the settings you guys are gonna need to have to hit your best. And for those that may be wondering, yes sir, we got a new merch line out. I got a collab with Savs, a big brand out in the Bay Area, and I couldn't be happier with what we got. We got this, we got the hoodies, we got the shirts, we got the jackets. I'm gonna have the link. Make sure you guys please check that out. If you guys have supported me throughout the years, if you guys have loved my stuff, there's no better way to show support than grab some of this merch, rep it, post pictures, tag me. I would love to see you guys in it. Now, before I get on with the settings, I do want to let you guys know I am giving away a PlayStation 5 this week on this channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications on for the video so you guys can have the uh, a head start on how to enter the giveaway, okay? Now, I need to get one thing clear for you guys. Settings is one of the most important things that you can get right in order to make sure that you're doing good in this game. If your settings are off, you're either practicing a way you shouldn't be practicing, or you're just not giving yourself the best edge you possibly can. So make sure you listen to what I'm saying, and I'm gonna put you on game with the best settings that you can have, okay? We're gonna hit R1, we're gonna go to control, and this is gonna be all of your hitting settings. So for base running interface, that's all based on your perspective what you want to do i stick with the analog select which means i push my analog towards the runner i want to move and then if i want that runner to move to third i'll point to them and i'll hit square it's it's pretty self-explanatory once you head to practice and you do that all of these settings i'm telling you guys do not dive into a ranked game you could maybe dive into br but why waste your stubs just go to custom practice like i'm going to show you and that's where you're going to go practice this stuff now for swing input, it's gonna be buttons. A lot of you guys watch the videos and know sometimes I like to mess around and do analog. Stick with buttons, buttons is the way to go. It's what pretty much every top player uses, I'm sure. Buttons is it. This is the most important thing in the entire game. Zone hitting. It's what separates the best from the worst. A lot of players like to mess around, use directional hitting. Never ever do that, okay? Never do that. You might as well flip a coin to see if you're gonna make contact with the ball. Timing, no. Zone. Zone is gonna give you a PCI. A PCI is the indicator that you are moving around in the strike zone and you are aiming in order to hit the ball correctly, okay? Obviously, you're trying to aim in the middle of your PCI, which I will show you and explain to you in the custom settings, but make sure zone is on. If you have never touched this game before, practice with zone. Do not get into any bad habits, okay? Now, I'm gonna go over the PCI anchor for you as well because this was just introduced to us last year. So some of you may be new, some of you may not have taken advantage of the PCI anchor. I know myself, I didn't use it at first and then I started using it towards the end of the year and I got very good with it and I'm gonna be using it all year. So I keep the PCI anchor. I'm gonna go ahead and do game which means my PCI anchor won't reset till after the game. So basically I'll only need to preset my anchor once per game and that would be with my leadoff batter, obviously. The reason for that is because no matter if I'm batting with a righty or a lefty, I'm starting my PCI on the top middle every time. So I can safely put that and I actually love that they did that setting. PCI anchor dots, you could actually turn that off just so it's not distracting. You don't want any extra stuff on your screen. You wanna be able to recognize the ball immediately out the hand. This is the uh, plate covered indicator. That's the PCI, you're gonna leave that on. Now this is a new PCI they have uh, given us. It's called BAT, as you can see. It's a hard word, I'm glad I pronounced it for you guys. But we have never had a PCI that was the shape of a bat. We've had wedge, which was, it was like a very, very wide, thick bat, but it wasn't an actual bat. Now they've given us kind of a better image to look at. So I'm choosing bat. I use it in the tech test. I'm gonna use it for a while this year. And the beauty of the game is you can try all this different stuff and if it doesn't work, you switch it. 
you know, but it's a lot of it's a lot of batting practice. It sounds cliche, especially in a video game, but you're gonna wanna take a lot of batting practice in order to get better. PCI color, I always just choose yellow. That's the OG color. Um, I like to keep the PCI transparency about 50%. That way I can still see my PCI pretty well, but it's not too distracting. I can still see the ball through it. Yes, pitch off vibration. So this is actually all about preference. A lot of the guys that come from first person shooters like Call of Duty and stuff like that, they don't like vibration. I truly do like feeling the vibration on my controller when I smack a ball. Maybe it doesn't improve gameplay, but it sure feels hella good. So I go ahead and keep that on. Uh, you know what? I'll actually go back real quick just so you can recheck everything. You can pause it if you need to. But uh, if my screen was hiding anything, there you go. These last two are guest pitch and vibration. Hitting view. I choose strike zone high. It gives me what I feel is the most comfortable view of the pitcher and the ball. But what you are going to do if you don't know what camera view you're comfortable with, or even if you do feel you have a camera view that you're comfortable with, go to custom practice. In custom practice, you can just tick these down. Boom, boom, boom. Try every one. Watch a couple balls come in, pause, and just like that, you'll know what you feel most comfortable with. That's what I did for a while last year. I found a new camera view of Strike Zone High. That's what we got. Uh, pitching view and everything like that, we'll go over uh, We'll go over on a different video. I got you guys on that. For the in-play view offense, ooh, they introduced retro. I'm not sure what retro is, but I'm gonna keep it on high. The reason I like it on high, if you hit a ball in the outfield deep, you'll know how far the ball is. You'll know if you could tag up. You'll know if the ball has a chance of being robbed. It just kind of gives you, you know, a little bit of foresight to what's gonna happen. So definitely keep that. Good, I think we got all of the hitting stuff done. And, um, which is a good thing because now we can go ahead and go into custom practice. And I can't wait to go over this stuff with you guys. Let's have some fun. So the hardest pitcher to face usually in this game out of the live series guys is Corbin Burns. He has great pitch selection. He's got his cutter, he's got a sinker. I, I, I assume he does. So I always pick that just to face that. So I picked the Ale All-Stars just to um, make sure I have a good guy to hit with at all times during this little demonstration I'm about to put on. Um, this is a good example too. I'm glad I looked at this. You need to play at a place that has good elevation so you can get rewarded for your hits. I'm not sure how it's gonna be this year. Hopefully they reward you really well for your good swings. Um, I choose Overcast uh, 7 p.m. in October. That's gonna give you the best, um, the best sky that's not you know glary you're gonna have a good basically a good view you don't want to have you know the pitcher's arm slot the ball blending into the sky none of that stuff so here we are now this is some of the most helpful tips i'm going to give you guys and i'm going to save the most important tip for the end of the video or towards the end so make sure you guys watch the whole thing don't do no skipping if you guys skip the video you're going to miss out on important information i don't want that happening to you guys you guys clicked on here for a reason please let me help you so this is the practice mode we are facing corbin burns with jordan alvarez and this is the mode that i am telling you about i'm going to take a couple practice swings as you're going to see um this is the pci anchors you see the nine dots right there right now i'm not even going to take some swings i'm just going to tell you right now right now there's those nine dots my pci this is the pci right here this indicator is sitting right in the middle which means when he throws the pitch, I'm gonna have to re react to it using my analog stick. And I'm gonna have to try to aim this dot wherever the ball may be, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I set mine up here. So as you can see, it's set up there, I'm not holding it. And all it's doing is it's cheating up. So if he throws anything up like he just did, I'm more likely to be earlier on it because my PCI is already up there. I don't have to rush really quick to get it up. And if he throws anything lower, then I'll just adjust to it because an off speed is slower. I'll have time to adjust to it. So I feel this is the best way to start. If you're having tr Oh, anyways, sorry. I got distracted by that sexy sound. But yeah, all you got to do is practice this. Um, if you haven't played this game or if you have an issue with catching up to pitches, I would definitely suggest starting your PCI up high. When I was younger and my, my hand-eye coordination was a lot better than it is, I used to start my PCI in the middle and just react to everything because I was able to. I'm an old man now, I can't do it as well, but I still got the IQ, so you know, I, I, I work around it. So that's what we do right there. 
Now I wanna show you why the custom practice now is just so elite. That is the loudest sound ever. Sounds like somebody's lighting off a 12 gauge in my backyard. But if you go to practice type and you go to batting, you can set it to where you want this pitcher to throw, okay? So right now I had him throwing only strikes because I want to recognize pitches and make swings. I don't wanna sit there taking a bunch of pitches. But let's say I'm a guy who struggles against the cutter and I struggle against cutters inside online. Every time somebody jams cutters on the inside, I, I struggle. So I wanna get better at it. I'm gonna unselect all of these and I'm gonna select only the inside pitches. So now Corbin Burns is only gonna throw me inside cutters. That's the only thing he's gonna throw me. So I'm gonna start my PCI where I normally would because I'm practicing making that adjustment. And I know what he's gonna throw me. And we hit it out. Now we know what pitch is coming, so we should be hitting it out. But it's the fact that I'm getting used to moving my PCI in and recognizing how that cutter moves, right? and I still can't do it. But let's say you're not good against curveballs. You're not good against sinkers. You can choose a guy that has the best one of those. Oh boy, your Dawn is a problem. But um, you can choose the guy that has the best one of those. You know, if you struggle against sliders, put in DeGrom or Shohei or something like that and just take reps against it, man. You have no idea how much it'll help. Well, I'm sure you do, you can see. Now. That's just one of the many things you can do in this batting practice. I mean, you can select high, have him only throw high. Clear is just unselecting everything. But, you know, if you really want to truly get better and recognize pitches, you select everything. Try to recognize balls and strikes. Make sure he throws everything equally. You could try off with, um, try it out, you know, using righties too. We'll face, we'll face him with Trout for a couple pitches. But yeah, if you guys don't like the look of this PCI, you try other PCIs, you change your settings, it'll be effective right away. Oh man, it might be our year. It might be our year. Uh, every year is our year. We try, we try, we try, but I can't wait to climb the top of these leaderboards again, you guys. You guys know I, I like to stay undefeated as long as I can. I like to, you know, try to be top 10 in the world as long as I can, and I feel like this year is gonna be a fun year, especially with the huge prize pools and everything. It's a must, that's a great pitch. Now, before I go on with the other custom practices and stuff, I want you guys to remember, I am giving away a PlayStation 5 this week on this channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have notifications on, okay? I don't want you guys to miss out on a chance to win a free PlayStation 5. I give them out every single year at the beginning of launch. And make sure you don't fall for these damn scammers, all right? Don't text no numbers, don't cash at people. There's scammers out there that are hungry to scam. You're not gonna have to pay a dollar for this giveaway. It's a giveaway. You're getting a free PlayStation 5, all right? But yeah, we're just getting timed up and that's how you do it, man. You just go to this custom practice and let some swings off. But I'm saving the most important tips for last, okay? And I'm gonna, how did I miss that? Now, the most important thing to me when it comes to playing MLB The Show as a whole you guys need the right equipment to help you, okay? You guys need to have a monitor with the shortest response time possible. You have to. This is a game of hand-eye coordination. You see how fast these pitches are coming in. You see the adjustments you have to make. You have to put yourself in a situation where you can make quick adjustments. You can make quick responses, you know? And if you have a TV that's lagging and you have, you know, no response time and you're, it's just messy. It's messy, man. You can't be playing on the TV. You gotta get a monitor for any video game really, but especially for MLB. And you have to have control freaks. This is how I am so accurate with my PCI. The control freaks are, are cheap. They're a worthy investment. And if you go to the website, you find the code in my description, use code YFK, you're gonna get 20% off anyways. Go do that now make sure you do it i promise you it's going to be a game changer to your gameplay if you guys don't use the control freaks yet i have the orange vortexes i like them the high rise it it feels good for me it feels good on my tummy it helps me hit yanker roonies like that that better be a yankee rooney it's a yanker rooney yeah you gotta just please make sure you do it man 
Just please. Oh yeah, we're tattooing baseballs now. I'm out here like Cat Vaughn D, baby. Oof. That was loud. Oh my. That perfect, perfect sound is just unreal, bro. That sounds so good. Man. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I feel like hopping into Ranked right now. I feel locked in. I need you guys to hop on here and start feeling locked in as well with me, man. Telling you guys. And if you guys have any questions or you feel like I might have left anything out, ask in the comments. If I don't answer it, which usually I try to do, somebody will be in here answering the questions because I got a lot of viewers in here that have been playing the game for a long time and I could have missed out and somebody could answer something, you know, an easy question that you guys may have. But please make sure to ask. Reach out on Twitter and ask questions. Reach out on Instagram and ask questions. I'm here to help you guys, I promise you. And one last thing, if you guys are going to opening day, you guys are going to any baseball games, any events, use code YOURFRIENDKYLE on SeaGeek. Get that $20 off. I got you guys. So let's see, we went over control freaks, the settings, custom practice. Oh, make sure you guys have a great year. Good luck, climb the leaderboards, do everything you gotta do. I'll see you guys out on that diamond, all right? You guys have a good night. Peace.